Well, TTC, another heartbreaking loss for my Dolphins. Um, this is my Crow video. Waited long enough. I mean, it's fucking 12.30 in the morning, and I, I'm going to get probably no sleep tonight just thinking about this fucking game. So for those of you who didn't watch the game, um, let me let me let me break it down for you really quick. Our defense is no longer elite. D1, our defense is fucking trash right now. Do you understand and everybody else, do you guys understand that Cameron Wake has basically went incognito the last month? This dude has been doing nothing, nothing in the last month, which is why he was on the sideline for a couple of series. I mean, he basically has been doing jack shit the last month. And that's just one player. Our run defense is gone. When you let a running back like CJ Anderson tear you apart, yeah, our run defense is fucking trash right now. Linebackers are trash. Jelani Jenkins looked like shit in coverage this game. And yeah, it was against one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But we had this fucking game in the bag. I mean, our offense is fine. Our offense is playing great football. Tannehill is playing out of his mind. And I told, I told everybody in the TTC that I have full confidence in Ryan Tannehill. And I believe he could be the future of this team. I still believe that. Because this the the way the offense has been playing, I'm not putting any blame on the offense whatsoever. The pick that he threw, it was deflected late in the game. Really wasn't his fault. I mean, whatever. You're gonna get you're gonna have those. But as far as the defense goes, it's just falling apart. I mean, granted, Jamar Taylor went uh, got hurt. And then we had I don't even I don't even know his name to be honest who went in there. Um, he was an undrafted rookie, basically a fourth, fifth string cornerback that were in, that two act two guys that actually filled his spot. Never even heard of before. And I guess one of them we signed this week. But once Jamar Taylor went down, that just killed us. Absolutely killed us. Finnegan needs to get healthy and he, and he needs to play next week. Juwan James got hurt. I don't know the severity of his injury. Um, obviously, I he's been playing great football, and once Albert went down, I knew this kid was going to hold his own in that position, and he has been, and now he, he was hurt in this game. Uh, I mean, Peyton Manning just... Demarius Thomas just killed us. Peyton Manning was passing him the ball all goddamn day. Emmanuel Sanders burnt fucking Brent Grimes on a couple of plays. We were lucky and fortunate that Manning, his timing was off on those throws. Um, but the other side of the ball, I mean, Jamar Taylor was playing fine. He was playing decent all day. Got hurt. This 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 game was basically identical to the way that we lost against fucking Detroit. Once Finnegan got hurt against Detroit, uh, Stafford was just going to t Golden Tate. Once fucking Taylor got hurt in, in this game, we all know they were going to pick on a fourth string cornerback. I mean, come on now. And then let's talk about probably the worst onside kick attempt in NFL history. What the fuck was that? How do you come out of a, of, of a timeout or whatever trying to plan the onside kick and you draw up that garbage? If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you're going to see it on SportsCenter and not Top 10 for probably weeks to come and worst of the worst. I mean, I mean, not that it, I mean, an onside kick is a low percentage play, but just go out there and do a normal onside kick and try to, try to get the football, fucking football. Don't, don't pull that shit and all this trickery that the Dolphins can't run. Fucking, this is what I mean about this team. Like, I mean, I still believe, I truly still believe that this team can go 10 and 6 and make the playoffs. The, basically the only game that I I have us winning every single game, except the Patriot game. That's a question mark. 
Uh, we can either win that game or we can lose that game. That game's either or. I think we can beat the Jets twice. We're going to have no problems against Minnesota. And I think we'll hold our own against fucking Baltimore at home. The game is week 15 against the Patriots. That's the question mark. Uh, so basically, I think we're either going 11-5 and or 10-6. and Because I don't see us losing at any other game. I don't even fucking care that the Jets' two games are a division game. Um, but let's go back to talk about this game. Congratulations, Chilla Gorilla, all the Denver Bronco fans out there. This was just a pain, another un, painful loss for the Miami Dolphins. I mean, 39 to 36, a lot closer than a lot of people thought it was going to be. But elite teams find the way to finish games and close out games. I mean, we lost to Green Bay, Detroit, and fucking Denver in last minute fashion. And elite teams go out and win those games. We can easily be. 9-2, and two, same record as the fucking Patriots right now. But, like I said, elite teams know how to win those games. And the the, the wild card teams and stuff like that, they, they struggle to get those wins. And that's why we're going to be a wild card team and not the fucking division winner. We're not there yet. We're not there to de dethrone the Patriots yet. I don't even care if we fucking sweep them. I mean, they're... They're going to win the division. It's obvious. So, but I mean, uh, yeah, a season sweep will be nice. But, I mean, we we need to close out these games. Uh, Denver's defense, your secondary still looks like shit. Uh, Tlaib got hurt. TJ Ward played all right. Um, but, yeah, Denver's defense, I, I, I don't know how well they're going to do in the playoffs. Um, I don't know if they can beat Brady, and I don't know if they can beat the Patriots, because like I said, their secondary looks like shit. Um, there's no problems on your offense. I mean, basically you just came out this week and forgot about last week against the Rams and did your thing against our, what I thought was a, an elite defense until today. I mean, they look like shit against the run. Like I said, Cameron Wake, where have you been? What have you done for this team in the last month? Absolutely nothing. Olivier Vernon, same thing. No fucking pass rush anymore. You're, you're missing tackles. Everybody in the defense is missing tackles. Fucking linebackers can't cover worth a shit. I mean, Jelani Jenkins, yeah, he's been playing pretty well this whole season. But this game in particular, I mean... Pfft. The, the, our, our coverage for the, the the linebackers can't cover receivers whatsoever. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I'm ending this video here. God damn it. Eight minutes long already. Um, yeah. Sh shout outs again to Chill Gorilla. Congratulations. You actually showed up for a hate week. Um, all the other Denver Bronco fans. I mean, I hope you get that number one seed because I don't want to see the fucking Patriots go to another Super Bowl. But if you don't get that one seed, I don't even want to think about it right now. All right, uh, not like I'm not panicking or anything. Like I said, I still think we're gonna go ten and six to make a wild card spot, and uh, hopefully we fix things going going forward after this game. Hopefully we get healthy on defense. Finnegan comes back. Not worried about the fucking Jets. I hope we fucking blow them out on Monday night. Because I'm going to be fucking there. And I'm just going to be pumped for that game. Because if we lose that game, season's over. So, um, that's it. I'm going to end this video here. Shout outs. Dolphin fan base. Shout outs again. Chill Gorilla. Congrats. Another heartbreaker. I'm out.